we would really like for you to become involved with this. And there's, uh, just as you mentioned, all the things that are going on, there's a huge variety of ways for you to get involved, you know, with the Pasture School, through the Cafacuma Development Projects Fund, and a whole variety of other things. And maybe why don't you tell them how, where people can connect with, uh, sure. to get involved, because there's a variety of ways for that as well. Right, we do have a website, it's cafacumba.org. Uh, just like it's spelled there on the screen. Uh, we have a Facebook page at the uh, same spelling, Cafacumba. You can find out a lot about that. If you want to sign up for a bi-monthly newsletter, you can do that. We have an annual uh, meeting for the Cafacumba Development Projects Fund in November, every November, and we usually try to get some folks back for that from Zambia, and we're hoping this year to get Kendra to be able to come back, and also Nathan, uh, John's son. Uh, who's really running the honey company right yeah, now he's really and also that. teaches at pastor school. So, uh, you know, those are great opportunities to hear firsthand how to uh, get involved. Yeah, which explains not only like if Nathan comes and speaks, what's going on, but like we talked about before, just how this isn't just staying stagnant. Right. It's really growing substantially with uh, others involved and what with what he's doing and also too at the annual dinner we'll also hear about some of the activities that you mentioned earlier about with the goat farming certainly the 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 bee suite and the honey operation that Nathan's doing um, as well as with some of the activities that is involved over there with Purdue University. Right the connections with Purdue mainly through your dad uh, connecting us there um, have been wonderful and continue to kind of bear fruit. So yeah and that's been going on for a number of years now. Yeah. I think we're on year five or six now. Yeah.